Hello, welcome back to Rizal's TV. Let's jump straight into part seven of my wooden electromechanical clock build. Let's start part seven right from where we finished part six and cut the designs out of our crank arm wheels. bad and here are the wheels back on the clock the servos of course will go here when they're installed and programmed and everything else now between that last clip and this one Christmas has occurred and I was given the gift of the common cold so if my voice sounds a bit different that's probably why anyhow that's as far as I can realistically go on that until I get the servos and all the rest of it so my next job will be making the case for it now in my downtime, I've not been able to record because of the cold. I've been making this. Now I would have liked to make finger joints in the edges of this, but I, unfortunately I cut. There's two sides, too short. So I've just done butt joints and I'll cut splines and put those in there and everything else. Now I've got these strips of wood cut to exact width. I'll put these in here like this. So they go on the, on the back and then the sides and the top everything else. And the clock will sit inside on there. And then more strips will fit on top of that. And the top ones will glue in place. Whereas the ones on the back behind the front panel will be screwed in so the whole thing can be taken apart if necessary. So next up we'll be gluing in the front ones of these. Now I've got my micrometer off set to a certain depth so I can depth these off exactly and then glue them in place and then clamp them but first I've got some excess glue in here which I need to clean up and I've got some chisels which I can use to scrape that out Well, that's not the sharpest chisel in the toolbox, but it does the job. They come pre-blunted out of the factory for your inconvenience. Now the next up is to glue these upper ways from here so the clock goes underneath. And then the back bit there is screwed in after, but I need to get more wood, which will be day after tomorrow because it's still the holidays for Christmas. So let's glue, let's mark this off and then glue this in place. Go around the outside. Now the longer bits for the sides are just fit, so when they go in they're slightly bowed. Like that. I like the help of the clamping on these shorter end pieces, so that's alright. Excellent, goody. I'll give that an hour or so to dry. They're all nice and straight. I've got minimal glue, um, squeeze out of glue. I've wiped all around the edges with a damp rag. There's a bit more of a wipe still over here, but you know, it will go nice when it's all put together. Right, this has been drying overnight. So I've put the, the clock part in place. I've also added the back shim 
which I've glued in place and the others will screw in that way this will just slot in like this and then move forward so I can take all these clamps off now and this just slides out and I put foil inside to stop the glue from sticking the two all the parts together Just clean up so now it's just lost inside like this. And then the parts are screwed to the side, the top, and this side, hold everything together nice and stiff and rigid. This will be how the clock looks on the wall, something like this. I'm not sure where it's going to go yet, I need to find a space for it. Probably somewhere on this wall, or on the back wall where the artwork is, or the side. Obviously I need to finish off the drive mechanism and all the electronics, and I'll go in here. And then the next part will be a, a cover that goes over this, and it'll contain a glass, a glass window, and it'll hinge open and closed. I'm also going to be working on the truth table for the angles for the crank mechanism, so I can start building the servo mechanism, and the drive electronics for that, so that'll be coming up as well. After that, I'll need to do the hands, made out of um, pebble heart pin blanks, which I need to order online, and I'll be doing it on a scroll saw. And that will have brass inlay work, so check back next week and the following weeks to come, and um, subscribe to catch up with what I'm doing, and be prepared for a lot more. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.